this is all that's left. That's how quick it went, just bam, went up quick. A chaotic cocktail of bricks, bourbon, and water shot from a fire hose. And all of it began as fast as a bolt of lightning strikes. It sounded like a stick of dynamite went off, what it sounded like. And then next thing we know, it was just a big, the whole, whole warehouse engulfed in flames. Gary Tate lives just across the street, although there's no official cause. He says the fire started during a lightning storm and was immediately raging. He had to race to save his horses. It got so hot that it melted our siding on our houses, busted our windshield windows, and we were just glad to get all of our animals out. The fire lit up the night sky. The intensity cranked up by the alcohol and as many as 45,000 barrels of bourbon in the eight-story warehouse owned by Jim Beam. And it turns out the fire isn't the biggest problem. It's liquid. The alcohol was washed into a nearby creek. The real public safety concern here is uh, the, the water runoff into the Glens Creek, which feeds into the T Kentucky River and feeds the city of Frankfurt, uh, which is nearby. Crews are monitoring the water quality as the runoff approaches the water plant downstream. Nearly 60 firefighters, mostly volunteers, kept the fire from spreading to neighboring warehouses. No easy task from a fire hot enough to melt the lights on the fire truck. It, it was unreal. I hope I never have seen nothing like it again. And they tell us these fire crews are going to be here not just a matter of hours, it could be a matter of days before they're able to leave. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.